There's one way on Earth that you can reproduce the weightlessness that only a handful of people have ever experienced in space, and that's in this plane. With the engines off, this is where about 30 seconds of zero gravity occurs. The men on board call it going over the hump. And then on into another manoeuvre that you would never expect this enormous plane to take. A pull out from a near vertical dive close to the speed of sound. The zero gravity flights operate from Wright Patterson Air Force Base in Ohio. It's to this airfield and this unique aeroplane that every astronaut has to come to accumulate vital seconds of experience in zero gravity and to learn how to move all over again. The men who fly this plane say that weightlessness makes you go right back to the beginning in learning what to do to control your body. There's only one way to film it, tie the camera and the tape recorder down and then hang onto them and hope they can take the strain. A medical examination to make sure your heart can take the strain lasts two full days. I have no idea what's going to happen now. We've been told that on a weightless flight, the captain begins to put the aircraft into that kind of position. He revs up to about 500 miles an hour. We're doing that right now. As we get to the bottom, we pull out into a curve and we go into what's called 2G. That means twice the amount of gravity because of the pull-up. At that point, I'm going to feel twice as heavy. And all I can do is describe my feelings as we go through that. At the moment, the speed is building up. We're at this point in the dive and fairly soon we're going to start to pull up. I, can, I have no idea what it's going to feel like, so don't expect me to be too coherent. Listen to the engines, and here we go. And there's 1G2. And it's pulling down on me. I can hardly talk. I can feel my face going down. And I don't know if I'm talking clearly, but pretty soon we'll go up over the top. And when we do, I'm supposed to float. And, and, I'm going, I'm going. It's fantastic. It's unbelievable. I, it's the most extraordinary feeling. I, can, I can't really control myself. All the dust is flying with me. I'm up. I can't control myself at all. You should see the crew that are filming me, what they're up to. This is fantastic. Look at this. I mean, it is indescribable. And now we're back down again as he pulls out. And I'm sorry, I didn't do any better on descriptions than that. But it really, at the beginning, you just can't talk. It's as if all the air in your lungs, when people say their heart came into their throat, that's exactly what it feels like. It all goes up. I can't do that because we're in 2G, and now we're leveling out, and that's the end of the second parabolic flight, as it's called, because the aircraft takes a parabola. It's the most exciting thing that I've ever done in my life. One of the things every astronaut says about weightlessness is that it's the most comfortable mattress in the world. So if what they say is true, we leave you just with this last thought. Good night.